Hello, welcome to my video. Today I'll be showing how to program an Arduino Nano with the PSNI code. PSNI is an open source stealth mod chip for the PlayStation 1 and is one of the best mod chips out there at the moment. I'll be linking all the software and hardware I use in the video in the description below. So yeah, let's uh, check it out and uh, first download the software we need. Here we are on the GitHub page of the PSNI. If we scroll to the top, we have the green code button. We click this and click on the download zip file and save this to the desktop. Next, we go to the Arduino download page. Under the download options, we select the first Windows option, then just download and just download again and save this to the desktop. In this video today, I'll be using my USB Tiny programmer like this. It can be bought cheap from AliExpress. I'll be using it with my uh, clamp. This uh, this one is a 3 pin 2.54 double row and it makes it easier to clamp on the Arduino Nano boards to program it. If you're using the USB Tiny you will also need a driver for this. This can be easily downloaded from the Adafruit website, uh, just download the download Adafruit driver installer to the desktop. Install the drivers. You maybe need to reboot your computer. After uh, it's rebooted, connect the USB Tiny to the PC and open the device manager. In device manager, you should have the lib usb win32 device and under, under this it should show the usb tiny if it's showing like this then it's correctly installed okay okay next we'll be extracting the psne zip file we downloaded just right click it and select extract here like this We'll be also installing the Arduino EDA software. Just open it, select I agree, next and install. In the meanwhile, we will look at the PSNI folder. Inside there's a PSNI core folder. This has to be copied um, to the local app data folder. To get there, you can press the Windows button and R. It will open the run box like this and then type in percent sign local app data percent sign and click OK. You will be getting the folder like this. Then go to the Arduino 15 folder, go to packages and here you have to copy the PSD core folder. Paste. And then you can close this out. Next, we'll be opening the Arduino file. Go to the PSNI version 8.6 and open the .ino file. In this tutorial, we are using a FAT uh, model PAL. Um, if you are using an NTSC version, you have to uncommon the first line for PAL the second line. So we'll be uncommoning this line like this. Also we have to define what chip we are using. Uh, the Nano is based on the Atmel 328-168. It depends if you buy them on AliExpress what version you get. Um, the best way to check is to uh, look at, uh, at the black chip on the Arduino, under the microscope, it should show what version you have. So let's go over to the microscope and uh, check it out. Okay, so here we are under the microscope and we can see this is a Mega 328 PB chip. Okay, so let's go back uh, to the computer. Okay, so back at the computer, we know it's an Atmega 328 PB. So we have to uncommon this line. 
next we go to the tools board and if you copied the PSN core correctly to the local app data folder you will get this option the PSN core then select the Admega 328 next we go to variants and we select the 328 P because we have the 328 PB and lastly go to programmer and select the USB tiny ESP because that's the programmer we are using next we can connect the nano with the clamp like this and we can hit upload and it is finished now this should work in the PlayStation 1 so let's go to the test uh, PS1 and uh, check it out okay so here we are at the test PS1 I made a holder for the PSN to test them externally so I don't need to solder them every time First we will start the PS1 and see if it's working without the chip. It should say input an original uh, PS1 game. Yeah, please insert the PlayStation CD-ROM. So now let's turn it off and place the Arduino on the test pad like so let's see if it want to work we turn it on if the second uh, light on the right turns on it means it's injecting and there it goes Okay, let's go back to the computer and finish up. Okay, so that's it. That's how you make your own PSN mod chip uh, with an Arduino Nano. I hope it helps you guys to um, yeah program it. It's not too difficult. This is the easy uh, version. Um, there are some versions that require the BIOS patching. Uh, maybe in another video I can uh, uh, explain this uh, too. Yeah, so if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I will try and help you. Thank you so much for watching.